one last push for glory. Orlando Pirates are potentially just 90 minutes away from lifting the biggest prize in African club football. The first leg of the CAF Champions League final against Al Ahli finished one apiece, giving the Egyptians a slight advantage. They have an away goal and the home leg to come. But the Pirates' leveller came in injury time and they feel the momentum is now with them. It's a draw for us, but it's a, a little bit of a, a sunnier draw for us than, than for them, even though they were away from home. So to finish the game that way, it does give you a little bit of a lift and gives you a bit of hope. And uh, you know, it just motivates everybody that uh, we can go there and score again and, and hopefully you know, do the business in the final. Pirates are preparing themselves for an intimidating second leg that will be played in Cairo. A crowd of 25,000 will also be in attendance there for the first time since the Port Said Stadium disaster last year. But far from being daunted, the Pirates players have embraced that prospect. That's what you want in a, in a final. You don't want to play a final behind closed doors. And I feel as much as the supporters, most of them will be supporting al -Akhli, but it's a boost for us because we also want to play in front of a lot of people in a final. If the second leg finishes one apiece, the tie will then be decided on penalties, something the team has been practicing. Pirates, though, need at least a goal for that to happen and a promising and attacking lineup, which is likely to contrast with their opponents. They believe in their style of play, which is that, you know, they play a very rigid uh, back four and, and two midfielders that sit in front there, creating a, a box. They don't have all those stars and uh, you know, all the success that they've had, you know, for no reason. So they know how to do it. They do it very well. But we've got to try and break him down and, and by doing that, keeping our concentration and keeping our discipline at the back and making sure we don't get caught on a break. Other than the trophy, a star on the shirt and a cheque for 1.5 million US dollars, the winner will also go on to represent Africa in the FIFA Club World Cup in Morocco. That's quite an incentive given the exposure that tournament offers. Yeah, it's going to be a great achievement playing against Bayern Munich, the likes of Ribeiro, uh, Noya, the great players in the world. So for us, we want to see ourselves next to those players to uh, competing in the field of play. Make sure that you get the opportunity to be seen in the world and have a great opportunity as, a, as individuals. So can Orlando Pirates return with a trophy and a second star 18 years after winning their first? They travel as the underdogs, but they've been in that position before and come through. On Sunday, we'll find out whether they can do it again. Dan Williams, CCTV, Johannesburg.